we are going to review the SMTP or scan the email setup on a Rico copier. There are a number of items that you will require before completing this. You will require the IP address of the copier, a web browser, an internet connection, the admin login credentials to access the copier, the SMTP server name or IP, any SSL requirements, the SMTP username and password, or the email account for authentication, and the SMTP port. So let's get started here. Go ahead and open a web browser. Enter the IP address of the copier. Select the login button, top right. For this device, the default login is admin with no password. So the password field is blank or empty. Once you're logged in, select device management and configuration. Select email. Make sure to enter the from address. This is the default email address. Scroll down, enter the SMTP server name or IP. This could be Gmail, this could be Exchange, Office 365, uh, GoDaddy, uh, Rackspace, AppRiver, you name it. There's a number of SMTP servers that will work. So again, the name or IP, the port, uh, the copier defaults to port 25. However, you can change it here to 587, 465, 8080, if you have GoDaddy. Uh, there's a number of ports you can enter here. And then whether or not you require SSL, SMTP authentication, this would be the email and username. And then enter the password here, so select change. Enter the password here, confirm it, select OK. Under the SMTP encryption, we always select auto select. Uh, we do not require anything else. We let the copy determine what the encryption should be. Go ahead and apply that. Select OK. Now you're ready to test. What I would recommend is that you verify the DNS and gateway and IP information before any of this setup. And that concludes the video. Thank you.